want to hear the truth, right? I want to hear ground truth. I want to hear honesty. I want to hear accountability. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for him to, uh, first of all, acknowledge that we are still in a, in a blizzard of crises, right? We still have a, an economy with record high inflation. We still have neighborhoods with record high crime. We have a, a border with record high illegal crossings. We have record high deaths because of uh, fentanyl as a result of that open border. We have a very real adversary in the form of China. And we have an economy right now that's underpinned by about $31 trillion worth of debt and, and is getting worse. We're spending out of control. And so what I want him to do is recognize that we, we are, in fact, in the blizzard of crises and, and take some accountability for it, take responsibility, especially over the last two years. These things have been aggravated with under his watch. And so he started this administration off talking about transparency and accountability. The buck stops with me. I want to see that. And, and that doesn't mean we're going to throw him under the bus or continue to point fingers and use it for political purposes. But all of those things I describe are true national security issues. And I, I just want my commander in chief, the president of the United States, to take responsibility and at least recognize that we are truly being threatened uh, in many ways. And this, this balloon, this last uh, you know, several days, is, is a great testimony to the fact that we are still uh, being threatened by this Chinese communist regime. And, and uh, you know, he's got to be eyes wide open to it. Last year, one of the critiques I had was he mentioned China for maybe one sentence in the, in the hour and 20 minutes he was up there or so. Uh, not recognizing the threat, um, and then not laying out the plan on how we're going to protect ourselves against that threat. Uh, so he's going to try to spin this. He's going to, you know, try to take this uh, effectively chicken crap and try to turn it into chicken salad, and then take credit for it. Uh, and, and what I want him to do is the opposite. I want him to recognize we we have problems. Here are the solutions moving forward, and then ask for that bipartisan solution, a solution and support uh, to help get these uh, these these uh, solutions implemented.